to be really... What, 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 what am I talking about? It's a, anything. Are, are, you, are, you, are you staying or are you leaving? I'm leaving. Give us a final thought. What, what did you think of this whole festival, the whole uh, um, the conference, everything? I wasn't actually... I was actually performing um, okay. over the, just over the, that way how there. Did, how did it feel to be a performer? Um, yeah. It felt... It was a real honour, actually, and there yeah. were so many people, and they were real, um, very important subject matters, and yeah. four women being given that uh, stage yeah. and able to tell their stories was a real privilege, um, yeah. and something that needs to happen more. So, yeah, it okay. was good. Are you going to do it again? Hopefully, if we get the funding. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, good luck with that. Thank you. Thank you, and uh, I'm sorry we missed your performance, but hopefully we'll have another chance to see it. Um, Thank you. Thanks for, com thanks for coming. Thanks for coming to contribute. Um, Sean, we need you. Two minutes. We need you. Two we need to get this going. Um, it's just me and Rick at the moment. We need people to show us how it's done, and you're the man. So come and have a seat. Two minutes. Um, look, they're already interested now that you're coming to sit down. That's how it works. Um, so, but what are we going to talk about? Let's talk about beautiful women. Yeah. Look. Yeah. This, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello? Okay. We'll keep going. Let's come and have a seat. I don't think I want to talk. Well, I yeah. might talk about beautiful women. Okay. I don't mind a beautiful woman. Like I don't that. mind. Anyone here, anyone here mind a beautiful woman? Uh, Okay, so let's get some names. My name's Mikey. What's your name? Rick. And? Sean. And? Heather. Heather. Yeah. Um, so, look, I don't know if you're, are you familiar with the format of Talkie Oki? No. no basically, it it's about talking to this microphone about anything you want, basically. It's kind of up to you. Um, Sean suggested beautiful women. Um, we could expand that to beauty, the concept of beauty. Um, but, yeah. As an as a elderly, um, middle-aged lady, if you don't mind me saying that, women don't like that. <laughs> um, what do you think about the teenagers, the way they dress up nowadays, like they put makeup on? They actually put different face on. What are you trying to say? I'm basically saying, do, yeah. you, do you agree with it? Do you yeah. agree with it? Yeah. Well, I, I basically think women should, and young women particularly, should be allowed to put on whatever they want to put on. Yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah, you think that's fine? I think it's should young women be allowed to put on whatever they want to put on? What does that mean? You're giving us a kiss. Come, give us two minutes, two minutes. This is an important issue. This is about... Um, basically, Sean has said young women should, should, should not be allowed to put on all this makeup and other I stuff. I didn't say you're going to get me in trouble. I didn't say shouldn't. Uh, I think what do you guys yeah. think of it? Because I prefer natural beauty myself. Yeah. My yeah. girlfriend, I've been with her eight years. And I always, I never, I never, I buy her stuff, but I never try to buy her makeup or yeah. stuff like that because I prefer hair in yeah. her true form. Yeah. Do you understand? What, try, so the makeup is, is, what is it doing? Obscuring the truth? It's basic. All right, put it this way. Um, yeah. I've got a friend that yeah. told me a story once. Yeah. Like he went out clubbing him and him and his boys, and yeah. from across the, the club, he saw yeah. this beautiful girl, yeah. and <laughs> yeah. and he went home with her, yeah. and by he wake up with her the next morning, and he was like, "Who are you?" Because <laughs> she well, took off all the makeup. Her. Okay, he didn't recognise well, her. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. So, are you are you think that's wrong, basically? Oh, I don't yeah. think it's wrong. I'm just asking you as a woman with natural yeah. beauty. Do you understand? What yeah. do you think? Okay. What do you think of it? Like, do you yeah. think they should go through that? Do you okay, know what well, I'm saying? Well, hang on a sec. So we've got a couple of new faces at the table. Come and get on. This is our final session. We're talking about beauty. Uh, is, is our natural beauty a higher class of beauty? As Sean is suggesting, we've got Rick. We've got Sean. What's your name? Priya. Priya. We've got Heather and... Ju. J-U. Ju. Yeah. Okay. And I'm Mikey. Um, Someone else? Come on, come on, have a seat. Um, what do you think about beauty? Uh, is a natural beauty without makeup, or in the case, I guess you take, you'll say more in the case of women, is that a better kind of beauty? That's what Sean is saying. Have you got a view, Ju? Well, actually, uh, I'm from Korea. Yeah. yeah there are lots of lots of uh, soldiers. <laughs> well, I mean, what's the view from Korea? Do, do women wear a lot of makeup in Korea? Yeah. The, yeah, there are a lot of uh, 
most of Korean ladies uh, yeah. uh, are making makeup, have got makeup. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, personally, yeah. I like the ladies with makeup. You like the makeup? Yeah. Okay, why? And it's because. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. It, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. okay. It's because. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is the thing. This conversation the is the offered the by Should. all of us. So why are Excuse we having me. this conversation? <laughs> How do we move this on? How do we make it a better conversation? Sorry, Chu. Sorry, Chu. Yeah. I'm just uh, Priya. I think that the problem is is that people are dictating what women should and should not do, what they should yeah. and should not look like. So one minute it's be real, yeah. be kind of be a natural beauty, and then another yeah. and. Then they turn around and say, well, you look awful like this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and like that story. Like yeah. that story. Yeah. 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 Oh, God, you look horrible with makeup. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's hear from Priya. So She's got the mic someone, right now. Someone who yeah. is comfortable with the way that they look, someone that's confident is someone that's beautiful. So, and I don't okay. Think that makeup has. So, beauty actually comes from a confidence. And from that person expressing themselves how and how and whatever they will. Yeah. Uh, hang on a sec, so I want to get some more people. Come and have a seat on the table of chat. We're talking about beauty. Where does where does beauty come from? Uh, is makeup a part of beauty? Should Priya say, Priya saying that nobody should maybe nobody should prescribe to somebody else how they should look. It's up to that person to to uh, look however they want to look. Uh, yeah, hang, Jude, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Um, to what Priya said, yeah. she says about confidence can show beauty. And yeah. Say there's a lady in the corner, she's yeah. shy, yeah. she's she's yeah. an introvert, yeah. low self-esteem, yeah. she could be very, very beautiful, yeah. very, very beautiful, but she doesn't know it. Okay. So if I tell her she's beautiful, yeah. it's the whole cliche, I the beholder, isn't it? Okay. So it's not necessarily confidence, so not you, all the time. You've got a unique view here because you, it's your job to observe everybody in the room for security naturally, reasons. Naturally, naturally. Yeah. I mean, okay. you want to talk about beauty as a general, general yeah. point. Yeah. You go to a nice sandy beach, yeah. beautiful sunshine. Yeah. So it's actually the context that creates beauty as well. Yeah. Okay. You could go to a man-made beach, gravel, it's not necessarily beauty, so... Okay. What, can I just get your name? Ivan. What is it? Ivan. Ivan. So we've got Ivan, we've got Sean, we've got Priya, we've got Heather, we've got Ju. What's your name? Rebecca. And? Poppy. Poppy. So have you got anything to add about this question of beauty? Um, do you agree, disagree with some of the things going around the table at the moment? I think I, I guess I, beauty's not about what you look like, is it? I think, oh, Yeah. I don't think that at all, but. I don't there's, think is there's got to be a, some visual element to it. Beauty's though. not about wearing makeup, but but women have an ex expectation from society of what they're going to look like and what they're going to be told to look like. Right. And if you feel like you fit in with that, you feel more confident. I think there's an element of truth. So they're in that. doing it because some of society. Women, it's an okay. easy way to feel confident is to look how society expects you to look. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. okay. In my in my country. Yeah. I which is Korea, yeah, by which the way. Is Korea. Yeah. 90% 90 of ladies yeah. uh, make her. So I you, haven't you, seen natural beauty yeah. except my mom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I mean, so, <laughs> I, I don't know. Are, are they doing it because of social that, pressure or are they doing it because they want to do it? Exactly. So many. So, something like 40% um, of women in South Korea who are under 25 have cosmetic surgery <laughs> right it's really 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 high level of cosmetic yeah. surgery in, yeah. in South Korea and I yeah. and that that is saying something to us isn't it about the pressure on women yeah. to conform to a look that they're yeah. willing to be cut up and is it down to social pressure or is it just because they, they want to do what they want to do basically what I was saying is I've been with my woman for eight years yeah and I don't like her wearing nothing that she weren't born with yeah, and like the lady said, it's not about how you look. What about beauty. hair? That's how that's how her hair is. There's yeah, some. But there's some people with hair. There's some. There's some. Yeah. <laughs> there's some people out yeah. there that likes makeup on a woman. Yeah. And I think I, I don't like them type of people that says, "Oh, you must wear makeup." Yeah. You must wear. You must get surgery. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I always tell my woman, "I'll buy you anything but makeup." Yeah. You understand? Because it's okay. like it's like wearing another face. But I mean. 
is it even about the visual thing? Poppy's saying that beauty is not ex beauty is not about looks exactly, isn't it? It's not a hundred percent about looks, but yeah, a lady could have acne, all sorts of things that makes her low self-esteem in it. Yeah. As soon as she puts that makeup on, she might find she comes out of the house a lot more because she's more confident. Okay, she's so in a way, the the makeup is a kind of prop in a way. Sometimes. Yeah, it's a prop to make you feel better. Sometimes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. To get better job. Okay. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Okay, hang on, we've got a new person on the table. So we've got Poppy, what was it? Rebecca. Poppy, Rebecca, Ju, Heather, Priya, Sean and Ivan. I'm Mikey, what's your name? Gustav. Oscar. Gustav. Luska. Um, so a moment we're talking about the phenomenon of makeup. Um, what's going on there? Is it social pressure that's making women, especially women, wear makeup? Is it the, is it boosting self-esteem? Is it a bit of both? Um, yeah. What, uh, and I think a lot, a lot of men have started to wear makeup as well. Yeah. It's not just. Not Are they doing that oh. through social pressure? <laughs> I, th I think so, yeah. I think yeah. it's social pressure and a pressure on self-esteem and how you feel about yourself and yeah. a world that's so focused on what you look like. Yeah. Uh, how did the world get so focused on what? I have like? no idea. Okay. Money. Yeah, yeah. Money, okay. money. Okay. 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 People yeah. make a fuck of a lot of money out of it. That's right. about what it is. Yeah. It's yeah. a massive industry to okay. making women feel terrible about themselves. And now they've got to a point where they're starting to make men feel equally okay, bad so about themselves. Okay, so they're making even so more money. Yeah, exactly. So it's a two-stage process. Make people feel bad about what they look like, yeah. then sell them makeup. Yeah. Okay, two-stage, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you probably won't like this. You yeah. probably won't like this, yeah. um, this truth. Yeah. But I think it's the media. You think it's the media? <laughs> it's the media. Okay. okay. Um, well, you don't point the finger at me. Um, okay, we're talking about the phenomenon of makeup and beauty. Why are women wearing makeup? Is it because they've been uh, cajoled by the by the media and the cosmetics industry to to number one feel bad and then number two buy products? Priya, give us a final thought before you go. Give us a final thought. What are, you, what are you going away thinking? Is this an important discussion or is yeah, it a bit of a frivolous no, discussion? No, definitely. I think that um, yeah. it's true about the industry and how they're making a lot of money out of making yeah. women feel bad and now yeah. they've moved on to men. Um, I think there's a huge difference between confidence and self-esteem as well. Yeah. And I think that a lot of people do use it as a prop and a lot of people do use makeup because of societal pressure. But I think yeah. one of the main problems is that people are dictating what people should look like, what they shouldn't look like, what they should wear, what they shouldn't wear. Yeah. And it's kind of this idea that a woman or a man even should wear and dress and do what is true to them. And confidence, I know there's someone that can be shy, yeah. but if they're comfortable comfortable in what they're wearing and their style, I've seen a lot of people that are shy that have got bright hair, you know, yeah. and they've got, you know, yeah. quirky clothing. They're being themselves. So and there's I think actually that's three really different important. elements here. There's confidence, shyness, and self-esteem. Yeah, and I think yeah. that's really important to acknowledge. And, yeah. um, you know, if someone is wearing makeup as a prop to make them feel good, themselves feel good, then I don't think it should be anyone's job, you know, to tell them that they can't or they yeah. shouldn't wear that because, yeah. again, that's, again, that could become a societal thing, right? Yeah. There's an obsession with authenticity now and being real. Okay, we've got, uh, we've got uh, Luska and... Can I, can I call you Romeo? Is that all right? Um, any views on this side of the table? Do we agree, disagree? Give us a final thought. I love uh, makeup ladies. Yeah. That's not my yeah, okay. personal opinion. Okay. <laughs> all right, that's pretty straightforward. Come and sit down, come and get involved in this, come on. Um, so, so we got Romeo, we got Luska, we got uh, Poppy, we got Rebecca, we got Sean and Ivan and Mikey. What's your name? Hi, I'm Serena. And Hannah. Hannah. Um, so basically, we're talking about the beauty. We're talking about cosmetic products, um, self-esteem, confidence, shyness. All three different things. It's been said. Um, is there a, a kind of thing going on that the number one? It's like a double whammy. Number one, the media makes. Women and men feel bad about how they look. Number two, they, they buy cosmetics or e even greater 
cosmetic surgery. Um, is that what's going on? That's what we're talking about now. Any comments from this side? No. Yeah, you've got a comment, Romeo. Yeah. I think for girls having yeah. to wear makeups, it has lots to do about them. First of all, I would like to tell the girls. Yeah. Turn the bloody TV off for one week, yeah. please. Yeah. It's called television programming. They are programming you. They are making you like puppets. Yeah. Oh yeah, I want that makeup. Yeah. Get, yeah. get here, get here. I'm buying all of that. Yeah. Literally, I tell you what. Yeah. Ninety-nine percent. I promise you, out of these girls, they go to the makeup shops. They buy four times of their need just because they watch them. I, I've seen it, yeah. I'm getting it. Okay. Um, you seem to be agreeing on this side. What do people think on this side of the table? We've got a little bit of a gender split going on. Come and have a seat on the table of the chat. We're talking about uh, beauty. Is, is a television programming girls? Yeah, it's social media as well, isn't it? Because yeah. everybody's taking photos now, all your photos are on Facebook. When I was a teenager, yeah, you took photos, but you went to the shop and you got them printed out, and then yeah. you didn't have there to show no anyone. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and now uh, yeah. Photos no anymore. filters, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Do you know now they brought up a special makeup for uh, what they call it, like bow bowsing or to, yeah, yeah, a posing Literally makeup. special makeup for that. Girls right. go and buy the makeup just to have a photo, okay. a selfie. Selfie makeup, okay. Yeah. I didn't, well, there, there you go. Let's see if we can find out. Maybe we can get some links to that uh, and connect you, yep. Told you it was the media, you just advertised it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Is it down to them, how did we get this media that's making people feel insecure? Do you agree on this side, by the way? Do you think that's, yeah. that's the case? Yeah, I think, um, definitely agree. I think somewhere along the line it was caused by the media, but now I think we live in a society where we're constantly comparing ourselves to other people, always looking for the next better thing. Yeah. And I think media portrays it kind of in the guise of, this is for you, this is to make you feel good. Yeah. But I think that's now just habit for society so rather than... Uh, so we've got into the habit of comparing ourselves to others. Yeah. Too much, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Ivan. Does anyone actually know when makeup was first invented? Uh, no. No. Uh, yeah. So the ancient Egyptians used to wear makeup. They used to put yeah. charcoal around their eyes. So it's. I mean, what? it's centuries old, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Was that, were, were there hieroglyphics that were making people? Yeah. What's that? You're, you're Egyptian. Uh, yeah, I'm Egyptian nigger, and I know. I'm telling you, they used to wear makeup. Okay. Yes. In the in the hieroglyphs. Was there something that made the women feel bad so that they wore makeup then? Or does that come later? Uh, actually, it was different in the old days. Yeah. A woman wearing a makeup yeah. in the old days was to be a classy lady. Right. Not, not to like attract attention. I'm telling girls now, yeah. try to ignore guys for one month. Ignore them. They are not there. They are not on the planet. The problem is when a girl have some lipsticks, yeah. the other one's like, mm, she's getting some attention. I'm having a lipstick and I'm on? having a liner. Is that what's going on? <laughs> like, I don't know whether I agree with that. I feel like girls wear makeup more for other girls than to impress guys. Yeah. I thought you said that. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. Well, you were, yeah. But you were saying it's down to attention from boys. Yeah. At the same time, the competition between girls. Okay, is it down? Okay, and let's go to Luska because hasn't said anything yet. No, yeah, you just have to realize that makeup works. I mean, it's not only the girls who will be attracted by makeup. Yeah. Uh, it helps you, and for enough people feel that it helps me to use makeup normally yeah. girls but how is it helping it, what, so is how it, is it helping well, it, I, it depends on the individual but I think I mean for some people it gives confidence for some people who are confident it gives something more uh, it gives you an edge if that's what you want if you don't yeah. want that it just might feel yeah 
fun sometimes. Okay. I don't know because I don't. Do is it, it fun? Have we have we forgotten about the fun element of makeup? It can be. It can be. Not yeah. Usually, no. Yeah. Normally, usually it's not fun. Usually not, but sometimes fun. Okay, hang on a sec. You were you going to say something? You haven't said much so far. No, it's just I agree. It can be fun. It's a fun thing to do to play with makeup. Like yeah. girls and guys it's, enjoy it's doing playful. that. It's yeah, playful. Yeah. Exactly. Are we going a bit too serious and heavy about the whole makeup thing? Or is it's it an important too heavy. thing? No, I think it's justifiably. And what heavy. about this question about the this kind of comparing ourselves with others? And is that what's going on? You're talking about this kind of weird competition. Does it really exist between women, between men and women? Oh, we have to be have an edge, as you said. Is that what's going on, really? The stereotype of a successful woman is a woman that is wearing makeup. Yeah. Like, I'm quite happy not to wear makeup at the weekends and stuff. I would never go to work without my makeup on because I would think right. that people thought I didn't look professional. And that's it's about that professionalism. Is, so it's not, I, don't, I think I look fine without makeup, but I wouldn't go to work without my makeup on. Yeah. Because I would think that the people who met me on that day would think I didn't look professional. What, what is your, can I ask what your profession is? I'm a, I'm a doctor. You're a doctor? Yeah. And you're saying a doctor needs to have makeup. I think uh, it's probably just yeah. my perception of it, but yeah. I think that I yeah, I I think yeah. that I look well. I think that people will think I look more professional with my yeah. makeup on. What kind, can I ask? What kind of doctor you are? I'm a GP. A GP, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you think yes? Yeah. You would try, Would you trust the doctor more if the doctor was wearing makeup? Not me. I'm not that not stupid. Male doctor. But not most male of doctor. the people are. Yeah. Oh, you know, okay, not, not yeah. you, not you. No, so not me. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but it, it, it's not like I go to the doctors and, and oh, she's wearing makeup. Great. It's just like I'm used to it. Yeah, exactly. And if, if you go, come with some kind of nightclub makeup, then it's it's weird. Yeah. So it, it's like clothes in that way. It's like you have you might have a ring, you might yeah. have a nice jacket, whatever. Yeah. Like with a job, if you put a bit of makeup on, it yeah. makes it look like you know what you've got out of bed, you've prepared for your yeah. day at work. If you don't do that, you literally you've just rolled so out of bed. Part, in a way, it's a part of a ritual preparing for work. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. Obviously, if you've okay. got like your nightclub makeup, yeah. Yeah. OTT, but yeah. you're ready for your day. You're ready Re to help people. Well, Rebecca, you don't. Do you have any other rituals to prepare for work if you don't put on makeup? <laughs> Get out of bed. Yeah. Grab a banana. Yeah. <laughs> Get in my car. If I've got time, I'll make a coffee. Yeah, right, That's okay. It. I don't wear makeup to work. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, Ivan. You don't have to necessarily wear makeup, though. You could wear a really good cream, and that can give you a nice glowing effect. Yeah. It still I doesn't have to good. be makeup, yeah. Do, do, you ever, do you use a cream? I use Nivea Soft every day, yeah. and I drink a lot of water. Yeah. Simple like, as that, really. Yeah. Hydration. You've got the hydration going. But no one's touched on the point of a lot of kids, young girls, will copy their moms and use makeup that way. Yeah. That's how it can start as well. Not necessarily just the media. It's seeing mommy do this and imitate okay. mommy. Okay. All right. Um. Um, on that point, I, I've... I used to work in a school um, with primary school children and at the age of seven you've got girls coming into school with full face of makeup on because seven. at seven because yeah. they've seen it again coming back to the media point on TV and their favorite TV shows everyone has makeup on so they imitate that just like imitating parents and stuff so I completely agree with that okay yeah yeah I have a point yeah. uh, I think another problem is yeah yeah. We made girls really conscious about anything that's wrong with them. Like, if she has yeah. bad eyelashes, everyone would be like, uh, and even the family would encourage them to address them. I have elf ears, and I think it's funny. Yeah. I look like a monkey. Yeah. yeah. I have camel feet. Yeah. I get my feet up. Yeah, well, when works. I'm going to the sea, I say, I don't need flippers. Yeah. Look at my feet. They are yeah. really good in the water. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I face myself with my with yeah. my bad things. So you like you sort of love your flaws, Ac is that what you're saying? Accept yourself as it is. Yeah. That's one of the biggest things with yeah. the girls. Yeah. The community doesn't encourage them to accept what they have. Yeah. The community, if a girl have like funny eyelashes or like funny nose, yeah. everyone would be like, eh. Yeah. Why? Yes, I have a funny nose. I have funny ears. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Get yourself done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, do we agree with this conjecture? Um, yeah, I think 
think so. And I think um, a lot of the ways women are changing themselves now are more permanent. Like, they're tattooing on their yeah. eyebrows. Yeah. They're getting fillers. And they're looking ridiculous, I think, personally. Yeah. Like, I saw Ellie Golden on a TV show. Yeah. Terry Wogan's, like... The, She's a beautiful woman, and she's done something ridiculous to Who's her this? lip. Ellie Golding. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. She yeah, yeah, but she looks. Yeah. But now, yeah. now she's had a nose job and she's got she filler really? in her lip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. So crazy stuff going on here. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, but it's, I guess it's her right to change. Maybe she she's happier like that. I think. If it personally makes her happy and it's come from somewhere within herself, but if it's if it's an outward pressure that she feels she needs to yeah. be somebody else or look a certain way, then I, that's destructive. Yeah. I mean, surely Ellie Golding has kind of made it. Does she feel pressure, do you think, to, to change her look? Just Yeah, I think celebrities are really at the forefront of this because people are looking at them all of the time. And yeah, they are beautiful. Yeah. Makeup no more, does she? She stopped wearing makeup. Who's this? Alicia Keys. Really? She's a uh, yeah. One of the f ladies at the forefront of wearing no makeup, being yeah. natural. Yeah. See, I I have to say I didn't expect this conversation in this final session at um, uh, at, at Rising, um, but there you go. That's Sukiyoki for you. And I didn't know I didn't know either that Ellie Golding had had. Uh, <laughs> Plastic surgery, or that Alicia Keys wore no makeup. I, I completely, this is all new information to me, I have to say. Um, okay, so we've only got a few minutes left because it's a very short session. Where do we want to take this conversation? Do we want to talk about, um, I guess, that sense of like that, that kind of mask that we all wear, be it a professional mask to go to work in, or do, do we want to talk about this question of like, um, maybe we could take it away from just pure appearance to are we thinking about the flaws in ourselves or are we thinking about the good things in ourselves? Uh, do we want to talk about, uh, carry on talking about makeup? Maybe we get some makeup tips while we're here. Uh, it's up to you. Where do you want to take this conversation in the last few minutes? Or do you want to start a completely different subject? I'll say knowledge. Yeah? yeah? Uh, uh, can I say a piece of information like yeah. probably the girls don't know where yeah. that the first person on earth who yeah. built a university was a woman right they don't know that information yeah who is that? I'm a Muslim guy I'm not saying that because I'm Muslim but but she was a Muslim woman yeah. she built the, the first university yeah in the world in Morocco yeah before 1400 yeah and it was the first university ever, and Europe took the university idea from Morocco, applied yeah. it in Europe. Yeah. And that's when yeah. the whole of Europe started to develop. Yeah. And that role of women, we took it away from them. Yeah. We started to change them into puppy dolls, yeah. which is absolutely against their nature they have been created with so much passion in here and here right. better than men yeah and i think that's the most important thing to yeah. change the british community and european communities back again yeah. to yeah. be stronger yeah because everyone now we all can feel our community is getting a little bit mm, we're not sure where we're going anymore yeah. That's because we started to ignore the core of women. Yeah. Because they are the core of the community. Right. And we ignored their core. Yeah. And we started to focus on their superficial side. Right. And I think that's yeah. the biggest downfall and mistake of okay. the European community how nowadays. Did we, how did that happen? How did we start to just see this? Uh, to be honest, like it started with like normal ladies. Yeah. Uh, they were not taking action. They were just flowing with the community. Going with the flow. And one wild woman would come up, yeah. ah, I want liberty. I want to do that. Yeah. And she does it in the wrong way. And because the normal ones are yeah. not taking action, yeah. so this one dominates them. Yeah. 
Okay. Like, because she's in power or she's okay. a politician or she's right. an actress or yeah. wherever she is, yeah. her actions are impacting all of them without them knowing because okay. that one has the power and yeah. the media and everything focusing yeah. on her. So everything she's saying is just getting Out them there, to flow yeah. with it. Okay. I think that's Any reactions to this, uh, this conjecture? I mean, it's quite, that was quite a long speech connecting all these different things Sorry, together. Yeah. No, it was I good. It was good. It was good. It's good. I didn't know this about the first, the, the, the first university. Um, but I mean, what I'm just saying, what part of that do you do you want to pick up? Do you want to pick up the thing about the history, about this suggestion that women are the core of the com community? Is it? I mean, can you just lump? one for half of the population all together are they all can i add something yeah. another yeah. piece of information do you know the gps yeah you know the first device ever has been made in history it was called estrelab yeah it yeah. was made by a, a woman called mariam but it means mary yeah. in english Mary the Estrelapi, and she was Arabian woman. She invented the first compass in history. Right. Yeah? Okay. And I yeah, think that yeah. uh, it, it goes back to the same point. Yeah. When that rule started to go, women yeah. were inspiration for yeah. the community yeah. to gain more knowledge, yeah. to go forward. Uh, is that not happening now though? Is no, it, yeah. that's, that's definitely happening now. I mean, see yeah. in the universities, well, men yeah. are not... Men. I mean, is it hap Okay, let's go around the time. Is it... Hang on, Romeo, hang on. Let's, let's ask other people. Is that happening now? Is that not happening now? What do other people I think? think? women are more educated than they've ever been, definitely. More than half of doctors that qualify now are women. Actually, it's about yeah. 60%. And that's because they get the grades and, and men yeah. often don't. Yeah. They're definitely more educated. I do think we've got a bit of a problem in that women criticise other women in society. Like, we criticise yeah. other women's hair. We criticise other women's yeah. makeup. So we almost bring this criticism yeah. slightly upon ourselves, don't we? When they talk about Theresa May's shoes, we don't go, yeah. hold on a minute. We don't talk yeah. about David Cameron's shoes, do we? Why, yeah. why are we talking about the Prime Minister's shoes? Yeah. We participate in these discussions. Okay, so, so you're, are, are people buying into the Theresa May shoe discussion? She wears good shoes, they're yeah. interesting shoes, so yeah. that's why people talk about them. Yeah. But I agree that yeah. we don't talk about Cameron's shoes. Yeah. I think on the other side of that, I think we do. There was, I can't remember who it was, but there was, I don't know whether it was Theresa May's husband, uh, at the time of the elections, people were talking about how awful his suit was. So therefore, men yeah. come under exactly the same scrutiny. But you've got to have a pretty bad suit as a uh, yeah. politician <laughs> for it to get picked up. I mean, Jeremy Corbyn's changed his style a little bit now, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, but, yeah. I, I just want to say, on that way, I'm on Obama's side. I mean, it's, it's yeah. not that America or Europe, the EU, is weak. It's just that we have changed. And we have forgotten part, I mean, women are now probably more self-confident in Europe than men are. And that's the problem. It's not that we are weak. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because, yeah. And, uh, because, I mean, I'm, I'm from Finland, I live in Estonia, and, uh, and we yeah. have the strong Putin on our side. Yeah. And, and No, no, okay. but, but, I, but, but my point is this, that uh, the problem we have now is that men are not confident enough. Okay. That's that's my point. So there's a, co I mean, I guess you could, you could spread out to men and women that maybe we are focusing too much on the superficial and not on the core, as you said. Okay. Hang, hang, well, you've said, Romeo, you've said a lot, and I, I'm, we'll come back to you in a second, but I want to get everyone involved in this. Ivan, have you got? All, all I said is that yeah. normally comes from ladies because I, put, I could be watching something and I'm so involved. And the missus will say, oh, her hair's not nice, or his hair's not nice, or yeah. she's kind of pretty. I'm like, why does it always have to go back to that? Like, it's the last thing we need to talk about. Okay. I'm just trying to appreciate the art, but okay. it always comes back to it. But it's usually the ladies that pick up on that. Yeah. Your dad does it's that. It's not my mum, it's my dad who'll be like, oh, she's pretty, or, yeah. or she's fat, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so welcome to Tokyo Key. Um, a moment we're talking about, we've got this conjecture about. Uh, Names. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do the names. We've got Ivan, we've got Romeo, we've got uh, Luska, we've got Poppy, Rebecca, 
Serena, that's right. And Hannah. And uh, Holly, are you going to come and sit down? And uh, what's your name? Stephen. Stephen, welcome. Um, oh, we've got a seat over here if you want to come in. What's your name? Joanna. Joanna. So basically, Romeo has been saying, I'm, gonna, I'm coming back to your conjecture now. This is you back in the line. So Romeo has been saying that um, a woman founded the first university ever, and that was in Morocco. That's right. Um, and he feels that we now seem to focus, we focus on the superficial element of woman rather than this core kind of community building element. And is that actually why our communi communities are starting to dissipate because we're focusing on the wrong element? And then other people have said, well, it's not just women. Like uh, Luscar has said, it's actually men are even less self-confident than women. And that's where we are right now. It will start off with a conversation about makeup um, and uh, what is makeup actually doing. Um, but anyway, now we're on to the, I guess, the, the core versus the superficial. So, uh, any response, reaction? No, I'm sorry. I was. What were you wanting to say before, Romeo? I forgot now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being honest. Uh, yeah. No, I just wanted to yeah. uh, just correct my point. Like, yeah. she got me wrong. I know ladies now are more educated and more liberated, and, that, and that's good, that's not bad. But what I meant that we took the lead inside the house from the ladies. Like before, yeah. the lady used to be the motivation. The lady used to be the biggest impact on her kids. Yeah. Nowadays, that rule has gone really low and they can like if I'm wrong they can correct me but that role is not as strong before right. mental yeah. wise yeah maybe physical wise yeah that the girl wants to have makeup or yeah. like go out or something but knowledge wise I think it's gone less okay okay well the pa the patriarchy has been around for a long long time What's a, what's a patriarchy? What's this patriarchy? The patriarchy is, is basically yeah. um, men-centric. And yeah. it, it's, it's through the lens of men rather than all of us. Seeing um, everything through the lens of just men rather men than and, the whole and, community. And, and I, whilst we have uh, examples from you know, native Indians in America that were matriarchal, yeah. Overall, and our religion comes yeah. to it very patriarchal. So, whilst I agree that there's been some shifts, I there's just been more struggles for the man in his uh, place and uh, re kind of bounding of of no, I am man because the threat felt is yeah. just some hypothesis okay. that I don't know. Holly? Yeah, I just wanted to say that I think... Hang on a second. A sec. Give us a final thought after Holly. Okay. You've said a lot, so sit down for a second. Yeah, Holly. I'll be quick, guys. Yeah. I was just going to say that this idea of what men are and women are and what they have been in the past is, yeah. is very much to do with who's written the history. Right. And like Stephen says, we've been living in a patriarchy for a long time where a lot of the history has been written by men. So I was just talking to a woman earlier who told yeah. me something I didn't know, which was yeah. that Lord Byron, the poet, yeah. had a daughter. And his mother really didn't want the daughter to turn out like Lord Byron, who was yeah. you know, a bit of a loser and a waster and a drunkard and a poet. Yeah. Yeah. So she educated her daughter in mathematics. And this daughter was a fantastic mathematician. And she actually developed the first ever model for a computer. Right, yeah. Does anybody know that? Did anybody know that here? You know, this woman, yeah. you knew yeah. it. Romeo knows you need to rewrite history. history. Yeah, yeah, Romeo, you need to rewrite yeah, history. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Uh, I should have known it, but I didn't. Okay. Okay. His story. I mean, give us a final thought. Uh, I think something I'm going to take out of our conversation, going back to what we were saying earlier about makeup and how maybe it's society that makes you feel like you need to put makeup on. I'm going to try going to work without makeup on for a few days. Okay. And just see how see I what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Final, final thought. Okay. Are you going to do the opposite experiment? No, I, I don't get up early enough to put makeup on. <laughs> I don't wear makeup to Maybe work. Maybe you can leave work 
with makeup on. <laughs> that would be the opposite experiment. I could, I could put yeah. it on in the toilets, yeah. yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just hopeful for more of a world where we appreciate more of what's inside and less of the yeah. superficial and the materialistic. And as a doctor, you know what's on the inside as well. Exactly. Yeah. Life is precious, people are important. Okay. Yeah, last thing, uh, I think it's the society responsibility to start focusing on the internal women's makeup yeah. more than the superficial makeup. Yeah, okay. And that's when the community will start to lead again. Yeah. It all comes from the women. Okay. She builds the society. Trust me, yeah. when the women get stronger here and here, will go up again. Okay. Without that, trust me, no matter how strong yeah. men are, they never succeeded. They all go for a fight like decades. I'm really yeah. sorry for the language. Yeah. And they bring it down. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so where do we go from here? Internal makeup rather than external makeup? Are we focused are we have we said anything? Has anyone got any internal makeup tips? Um, I don't know. Where, where do you want to take this conversation? We've probably only got a few minutes left. Do we want to talk about Stephen's concept of patriarchy? His, his story, her story? Do we want to talk about um, this, this, what does it mean to be on the inside? Uh, you know, the inside, what is the in, internal us? Ivan, give us a final thought. Is there a security incident unfolding? Are you okay? Finishing that sort. Um, okay. Final thought. I think we shouldn't get too fixed on one thing until we understand all aspects yeah. of something that kind of... There's so much things that affect everything, so until we understand all aspects of it, nothing can get solved. You can't solve one, one yeah. aspect of it. You have to literally hit every angle of it, and that's really it. Okay. Maybe it's time for final thoughts all around, because I do sort of feel like we... We've also, give us a final thought, Stephen. Is that you smashing the patriarchy? Yeah. Okay. All right. Give us a final thought or an initial thought. I don't know. I was just pleased to sit and be here, and now I'm going to go. <laughs> okay. You get my final. Me and you've been friends all day today. And yeah, that's right. You're a cool guy and keep yeah. doing what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. That's my final. We'll... That's my final thought of the whole yeah. day. Oh, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. We have bonded today, and thanks for thanks for giving so much to this. Um, final thoughts, final thoughts, Luska, have you got a final thought? I, I just have to agree that what you're doing here as an idea is perfect. Oh, thank you. Uh, if we just could close the door, it would be yeah. even better. <laughs> but well, we probably yeah. could have done, but you only suggested it at the end. <laughs> um, probably would have been a good idea. Uh, um, okay, final thoughts? Yeah, I think um, I agree that this here is fabulous of raising awareness of all these different type of elements. I think there's a lot, there's a lot of shift that has happened and there's a long way to go. Yeah. And there's a lot of balancing out to do from both sides. And uh, yeah, it's evenings like this that kind of like help that progress. So, yeah. Serena. Can I swear? What's that? Can I swear? Fuck the patriarchy. Fuck the patriarchy, okay. That's a good way to end it. Um, we'll leave it at that. Thanks, thanks, Rick. Um, and we'll leave it at that for a final thought. Fuck the patriarchy. And uh, this has been Tokyoki. This has been Rising. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, for everyone, for contributing. Um, and thank, thanks to Holly for organising it all. And um, thanks to everyone. Yeah. Give us a final, final thought. Give us a final, final, final thought. I don't know, what were you talking about? We're talking about, about the patriarchy. Um, his, his story, her story. Well, whatever. I, I just really enjoyed talking earlier, and I'm sorry you're stopping now. But okay, well, I'll see you. See us next time. And have, on. Have a look at our website. If you want us, to, we need to set up in the West Midlands. We've got some people that want to do it. Send us an email. Does that, I mean, maybe you're not from the West Midlands, but um, send us an email. Thepeoplespeak.org.uk will be coming to a town near you soon.